Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. If you are new to our channel, welcome to our channel. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and the little bell icon to get notified when we come out with new videos. We're gonna show you guys some really good Northern Thai food here in Bangkok. Yeah, conveniently, we have once again found another gem of a spot <laughs> yeah. located just down the street from our condo. So we keep on discovering all these great spots around the Ekamai neighborhood that we're at. And this place is no exception. We've been here once before already and it was just too good to not make a video for you guys and show you how great this Northern Thai food is. If you're craving Northern Thai food in Bangkok, all you have to do is come here. You don't have to go all the way to Northern Thailand. I think you should go to Northern <laughs> yeah, Thailand because it looks that, yeah. beautiful there. But if you want those flavors, this is the place you need to come. It is absolutely amazing. So when we came a few weeks ago to Ham Duan, we specifically wanted to try cow soy, yeah. which is a very, very, very traditional Northern Thai dish. And we had that and it was amazing. And then we were looking at the menu and we saw all these other delicious looking items. And right at the front of the restaurant when you walk in, you can actually see it all displayed there. So that's pretty cool as well. And we thought, you know what? We definitely have to try some more stuff. We want to have cow soy again because it's just so good, but we want to add some more items this time to try and uh, show you guys just how awesome this place is. Yeah, and it's located right behind the Akamai Beer House. So right off of Akamai Road, super easy to get to. And yeah, you'll see when you walk in, there's all the dishes, like Shana said, laid out all the different uh, types of meals. And you just go up and you pick which ones you want and mm. they'll just plate it for you right there. And they have a really cool system of like keeping track of how much you spent. They have these little buttons. We'll show you that as well. Yeah. And they have some Northern Thai craft beer. I'm going to show you that as well. So yeah, let's go in, check out the menu and see what we're going to order to show you guys how amazing this place is. Definitely need to get something to drink. Yeah, that's the cool thing too, is you just go up and you grab whatever you want to drink and then you just show them what you have after. They have cold water in the fridge already and then they also make sure to put bottles of just room temperature water on the table, which is nice because you can just grab it there and have it. And then they have like a little self-serve ice station there if you want to add some ice to your drink. So you can just go up and get that, but you can just serve yourself from the fridge. Okay, so I am definitely going to get a Chang because I really enjoy the Chang beer here in Thailand and this one is ice ice cold That is not always easy to find so know that when you come here, you're getting ice cold beer You're not gonna have to add ice to it and dilute your beer. So this is a good choice for, I think any of the anything in this cooler here is good because it's very 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 cold All right, so yeah, like I said, they do have the craft beer from uh, Chiang Mai is the brewery So they have a couple different ones. Uh, this is a Blossom Weissen. They have a red truck red ale and then they have a ping river pilsner i think i'm going to try that one first and uh, see how that is they do have another um craft brewery beer here as well i don't know where this one's from it's called kwai i don't know if it says on there yeah it's from chiang mai as well so i think it's from the same company so they have uh, looks like five five different beers that you can choose from yeah and again you just grab your own beer open it up right here and you show them what you had at the end. All right, so if you aren't into having craft beers, they do have, again, they have Chang, 
and Singa. They have Kirin, Leo. Um, they also they have wine as well. So they got some red wine and white wine in here. So if you want to have wine, um, they've got a uh, IPA up here from a German brewery. Uh, beer Lao. So they have a few different beer Lao types. Um, four different ones it looks like. And of course, if you aren't into having alcohol, they have soft drinks. So Pepsi, Seven Up. Um, Mirinda, green Mirinda, and again, like Shana said, they have the cold water in here too, so and some iced tea. So these guys here are doing up all the fresh herbs. What's the name? Soap. Soap. Okay. Sour fox soap. So before we go over the menu, I'm gonna try this beer again. This is the Ping River Pilsner. It's funny because it says it's a Pilsner, but it tastes more like an IPA. It's got that hoppiness to it, but not as strong as a normal IPA. But yeah, it's a, it's a really good beer. If you're into craft beer, uh, definitely try all of these ones. The one I had last time was really good as well. Maybe I'll get another one in by the end of this video because we are going to be here for a little bit trying a few dishes. So on the menu, it is a decent sized menu. So you have this side here, and then you have this side here. So all these items are up in the uh, the front where you guys saw in the b-roll and uh, yeah you just uh, basically go up and choose what you want and then they'll serve it up for you put it on a tray and you bring it over which you guys will see when we go up and do that so yeah they have the cow soy so they have that with chicken which is a traditional way they also have it with um, with a beef shank which I had last time which was really good Jana had the chicken again we're gonna order that same one again to show you guys um, but yeah again uh, rice noodles with chicken curry. They have a bunch of different nam pricks that you can order. There's four different ones. Uh, we're gonna get one of those to show you guys what they're like. Uh, it's the Thai chili dipping sauce. So they have, uh, yeah, like I said, four different ones. So we'll pick one, show you that. Show you how to eat it as well. There's a couple different ways. There's a traditional way, then there's a way that other people do where they just dip it in. Um, they also have fried pork, deep fried sausage. They have the Northern Thai spicy sausage. We're gonna get that to show you that as well. Uh, they have a mixed fried plate as well, so if you want to have a, a mixture of all the different fried things, you can do that. Um, deep fried chicken skin, which we enjoy, it's really good. Uh, yeah, yeah, they got other curries as well, chicken curry, there's a mix, northern Thai mixed curry. Um, there's a different, couple different soups as well, uh, spinach soup, there's a vegetable soup with pork. And Shana's like looking, she's like, what, there's soups? <laughs> I heard you say soup. <laughs> I'll have them all. <laughs> and then there's a sweet, Sweet pork condiment, they call it. I don't know what that is. It looks like a, a sweet, like a pork that's covered in a sweet sauce. Um, and then they have a couple of different uh, of the um, pork salads, and there's a jackfruit salad as well. So yeah, it's a very interesting menu. If you don't know about Northern Thai food, you'd be like, oh, which one do I get? But they're all going to be good. So yeah, we can't wait to order some food and show you guys what it's like. Uh, owner, mom. Your mom. Yeah. Oh, okay. Salane. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to order in some separate batches. We're just going to get a couple things right now and then we'll get a couple more items after that because the tables are good size but they're not big enough for us to order six different dishes right now. So let's go order the first uh, round of food that we want to get. Saurika. Can we please have one of the green chili dip? One rice and one Thai spicy sausage. Kakunta. So these are all the vegetables for the nam prick. Some crispy pork rinds too. Those are always good. Spicy sausage. How do I knock? So these are the chips I use, so you know how much you spent. <laughs> Okay. 
So yeah, just got a couple things to start with. Like Shana said, we got the Thai sausage, the Thai spicy sausage. We had this before and it is very good. And then we also got the Nam Prik Noong. And it comes with uh, some crispy pork rinds as well. And then we ordered uh, some rice because we're gonna show you how the traditional way to eat it is. So let's start with the sausage. One thing we know is there's a lot of different types of variation of different sausages here in Thailand. And ones we've tried before have been specifically the Isan sausage, which is specific to the Eastern part of Thailand and that whole entire region. So the ones we tried with, when we tried the Isan sausage, yeah. it had the fermented rice in it. So it had a sourness. Uh, we also tried another one on a different day that was an Isan sausage, but there was no fermented rice and it yeah. just had a, like a spicy flavor to it. And this Northern Thai sausage, that's spicy specific to that area, has a totally different type of flavor and texture as well, yet it's in the same country and the yeah. places are not that far apart from each other. So. Yeah, that's the thing. There's so many variations of the different foods. But yeah, this one you'll notice is a bit more dry as well. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's kind of uh, like a sun-dried sausage. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But you really taste the lemongrass in there and you get a kick of the chili. It's very, very spicy. Yeah. Which we like. A lot of you already know that. Yeah. We like spicy <laughs> food, so it doesn't bother us. But it's very spicy. But yeah, that lemongrass. That's the first flavor you notice right away. You just get a hit of lemongrass, and then after that comes the spice, and it is so, so good. Yeah, yeah. you almost mm. taste the lemongrass before it hits your tongue. That's how strong it is. Really good. Mm, smell it. Yeah, I like how dry it is. I like the dryness yeah. too. It's very lean. Yeah. It's not fatty, but it's still tender. It's just This is one of my so favorite sausages. It's so good. And it's right down the street. Oh, yeah. How convenient. <laughs> so now we're gonna try the Nam Prik Nung is the green Nam Prik. They have like different ones that are red, mm -hmm. different chilies, right? There's a red one, there's one that has fish. They're... Nam Prik is like a type of a dip. Yeah. But we had to do some research ahead of time yeah, exactly. to find out how to eat this because on the menu and at other menus too, you see the Nam Prik, the dip, and there's different types and then it comes with some vegetables and it's kind of like, what do I do with this? But you're actually supposed to order a side of rice, so that's why we got a side of rice. We did a little bit of research yeah. on the YouTubes before we came. <laughs> Thanks, Mark Weens. <laughs> Mark Weens did one, and that was very helpful. He showed us how to eat this properly. So we made sure to order a side of rice, and when I ordered it, I thought we were just going to get a traditional jasmine rice, yeah. just like anywhere that you get in Thailand mostly, for the most part, for any sort of a rice dish is usually jasmine rice. But this is actually a rice berry yeah. rice. I've that's never had rice berry rice before. I think we should actually try the yeah, rice we'll try before first. we put anything on it and just see what does rice berry rice taste like? Yeah, it'd be interesting if there's Is it gonna be flavor. fruity? <laughs> yeah, like... I don't notice a difference. No, it, it just tastes, tastes like, like jasmine rice, rice to yeah. me. But it's, it's got a, that cool purple color it's to just it. a purple purple and color pink. Yeah. yeah so it, it looks like it would have a fruity flavor and being called rice berry you'd yeah. think that it maybe tasted like a fruit of some sort yeah. so maybe one of our thai viewers can fill us in on what rice berry is but you can see like some of the grains are actually a dark purple and the rest is like a light pink color so yeah fill us in comment below let us know what the difference is between the jasmine rice and a rice berry it rice. kind of looks like what we would be used to back in north america where it's like um a rice like a white rice with a long grain rice in there yeah. of some sort where it has that darker colored rice and it's a little bit of a longer grain than the rest it has a similar look but yeah just no other no than the color flavor, no different yeah. flavor so yeah definitely please someone let us know yeah. what makes rice berry rice rice berry, rice berry <laughs> and what gives it the color all right so what we're going to do is we're going to start with our vegetables so they, you have a little bit of um looks like just lettuce it looks like iceberg lettuce, Yeah, iceberg actually. lettuce, and then you have cucumber, so you just put that on, on top of your rice, and then you take a little bit of the Nam Prik, and you put that on top. You can see it's like kind of stringy as well, mm -hmm. depending on what's in it. It's called a young, this what this one specifically that we got is called a young green chili dip. Okay. So, so you just do that, and Shannon can try the first you want bite. Me to yeah, go ahead. Do the honors? Yeah. Let's see. I'll build mine after while you're trying. <laughs> I'm trying to keep it all together here. Yeah. Use, use, a, use the, a fork knife. Use the fork to. Uh oh. I'm That's not right. getting any you're, still rice getting, on there. you're still getting the bite. That's going to be a big mouthful. Sorry, guys. <laughs> That's because I built it. Yeah, he, put, he put too much on because he knew I was taking the first bite, so I'd have to. Set you up with the trap. Have way too much in my mouth. Mmm. Good like that? Mm hmm. So, yeah, I don't know if this is lettuce or cabbage, but. 
either way, it's some sort of green that's leafy. It's lettuce. Is it? Yeah. It's iceberg lettuce. Okay, that's awesome because mm. we love iceberg lettuce. Oh my goodness, that combination is so good. The texture of the rice with the freshness of the cucumber. Yeah. And that crisp iceberg lettuce in there. And the spicy young chili paste on top like that is just so good. You get the spice, you get the freshness from the veggies, and then you get that nice texture with that rice. It's just... It's a perfect blend. It's so good. You'll see. Yeah. Your turn. Look how big mine is. <laughs> Probably gonna drop half of it. Maybe not though. It's so good. I really like that. That is really good, yeah. Like you said, the blend of all the textures and you get that heat on the top of your mouth because it's on the very top. Yeah. Mm. Just yeah. like typical Thai food, perfect blend of flavors, perfect blend of textures. Yeah, and we're yeah. never not happy. <laughs> and yeah, the cucumber, you have to have the cucumber on there. I think yeah. if you go to a place and you don't have cucumber, ask for cucumber because that freshness just pulls through and it helps soften the heat a little bit if you're not used to a lot of uh, spice. But yeah, I would definitely recommend getting uh, this non prick, but try the other ones too if you come here. Let us know what you think of the other ones. We're gonna come back again sometime, not make a video, but we are gonna come and try the other ones because this is really good. And this one came with crispy pork rinds oh, yeah. actually on the side, so. Maybe you can dip them in, in the uh, Yeah, so we got these crispy pork rinds here which look really, really good. They look nice and light and airy. Yeah, they are super airy. I'm gonna try dipping it in. Just to use as like a dip with the, yeah, with the chili like paste, yeah. Or you could crush it on top with the rice and, and veggie and chili paste mixture. Yeah. Just to give it a little bit extra crunch. Mmm. That combination with the pork and the nampre? Yeah. Yeah. That was really good. No, this is definitely something that you guys need to try. Mm -hmm. You won't be disappointed. And it's nice that there's a few different types. The red, there's a red one, there's... I'm, I'm just going to read off to you guys actually the different ones because I can't memorize them all. No. Yeah, so there's one that is a minced pork and tomato dip, it's called. So it's the same idea, but you get minced pork and tomato. That'd and it good. looks like there's some herbs on top that you mix in, maybe cilantro or, or something, some sort of a herb. Yeah. And then there's also one that is a red chili dip. So it'll be similar to the green chili, but like the one we red, have, but it's yeah. just red chili, yeah. And then there's one that's a grilled fish and chili dip. So it would probably be like minced up maybe fermented fish yeah, probably. with some chili so you get like a spicy fish dip to use in the same way that we just had this so yeah interesting yeah, yeah very very unique yeah that's yeah. the thing is like there's such unique flavors don't be scared to try new dishes when you're here it's everybody loves them um as far as the thai people they've been eating them for years they're, they're passed down from generation to generation seems like foreigners really like it too yeah exactly <laughs> they so, keep coming back to thailand and eating the food yeah so give it a try <laughs> and a lot of places you can get like a small portion of it especially in the markets but here i mean it's not a lot of food either if you come with a couple people you can try different menu items and then get a taste of the different flavors that way so we're just going to finish these two items up and then we're going to move on to order some more stuff show, to show you something you. else yeah exactly all right, so we're finished those items. I'm gonna go up now and order the next dish. We're gonna share this one. It's uh, not super busy right now. It's still early. A lot of people are still getting off work, yeah, but yeah. later in the evening, this place gets packed with people. When we were here last time, we were a little bit later in the evening, and yeah, it started filling up with uh, locals and foreigners as well. So it is a well-known spot and uh, really good food. So they're actually packing up orders for grab. So if you aren't close to the location, you still want to get the food, you can order it on grab. And uh, yeah, they've got like really good takeout containers. They have a window where the guys come pick it up. So you could try this food if you are a little bit further away and uh, can't make it down that day and you really want to try it. Um, but definitely recommend coming here and having the experience here. Could I get the hang me curry? Yeah. One, One. yeah. All right, so we've been here long enough. I have gotten a second craft beer, and this is the Blossom Bison. Blossom Bison? Mm -hmm. Does it taste floral? Kind of, yeah. It is, it has like a weird, like not weird, but it has a floral mm. flavor to it, but it's good. Usually like the Weissen's got like a fruitiness to it, but this is more of like a, yeah, it's not a fruitiness to it. It's a flowery it's Hefen Bison, it yeah, says. Yeah. Inspired by the fine summer evenings of Northern Thailand. There you go. Actually, you know what? I really like this. <laughs> Do I have to go get my own now? 
That's really unique. Yeah, it is. Yeah, definitely unique. I like that Never flavor. had anything like that before. Just tastes like whatever these yellow flowers are <laughs> on there. Which is good. And a summer. But it's not it's not like too overpowering with no. a floral flavor. It's just like a little little hint or aftertaste of of yeah. a floral flavor to it. Yeah, it's really good. I like it. Very unique, like like you said, never had any taste. I like, like the that. label too. Yeah, it's really cool. Very good beers. They, uh, that brewery has really good beers. So if you ever see it around in Thailand, Chiang Mai Brewery, really good. So yeah, this is a braised pork belly curry. Uh, we didn't get rice with it because we are getting the cow soy after as well, so we don't want to be too too full. But uh, we will be. You can see. <laughs> we're gonna be we're gonna be very full anyways. <laughs> but we wanted to try as many different items as we could that were different. So yeah, exactly. But you can see like the pork's just falling apart as you touch it with the spoon. This is gonna be good. I and I already that. see a massive chunk of garlic, <laughs> yeah, fresh garlic too. in here. <laughs> Back off. I love garlic. And there's a huge, huge, huge piece right here. So I'm gonna make sure that I snag that before you do. Yeah, you just eat that. <laughs> so I'm gonna take the first bite here off the pork. So tender. Wow. I'm trying to get the, I'm trying to get it on the spoon. <laughs> trying to get the, the garlic with the though. garlic. I'm like, don't lose that piece of garlic. Yeah. But yeah, super tender. Um, it's not a spicy curry, it's more like an Indian curry mm. almost, like a tikka. Mm -hmm. That's what it reminds me of. More of like a sweet flavor. curry. Yeah, that's really good. It would be good with rice for sure. Mm. Put that put that on some rice. I like that. Yeah, I'm trying to wait. I'm waiting for because everything in Thailand seems to be spicy, which we don't mind, but mm -hmm. I'm waiting for like a spicy kick yeah, at the right. end and there's no no, no spice so at all. If any of you watching don't like spicy food and you want to have some yeah. sort of curry, then definitely get this one. Would this kind of be comparable to like a Massaman curry? Because Massaman curry is more sweet. It yeah. doesn't really have it doesn't much have the spice. spice. No, there's a little bit of spice in Massaman. It's similar. But this like to me like tastes more like an Indian uh, like tikka or, or not really yeah. tikka but something in there like an Indian curry. Yeah, I guess maybe being from the north and like closer to Lao and China and all that, you get in India, of course, you get more of those flavors in there. Compared it's to, like, very good south. though. The pork is very tender, and if you want to make this spicy, there is always the option on any table in Thailand That's that you true. can add chilies. Yeah. You can add just like the the crushed dried chilies or like a chili vinegar. So you can always make it spicy if you want. Yeah. Actually, maybe I'll do that right now. You should do that. Doctor it up a little bit. But yeah, like Shana said, very tender. A baby with no teeth could eat this. That's how tender <laughs> it is. <laughs> or a grandpa with no teeth. Mm. Yeah. Okay, let's put a little bit of spice. In. Spice it up. Mm -hmm. Need some heat. It's good without, but for people like us that yeah. like Thai spice, yeah. need to add a little bit of spice. It is missing the spice. I put a good amount in, so let's see how it tastes spicy now. I like it better. Yeah. With the spice. Mm -hmm. It's a better balance with yeah. the spice. Needs that for sure. Yeah, so yeah, we're gonna finish off this little bowl of curry. Digest a little bit. And then we're gonna get on to the main event. Save the some cow room soy. for the cow soy. We need room for it. So <laughs> Yeah, exactly. I'm excited to try it again. After we had it that day, I was like, oh, I can't wait to have it again. Okay, so our delicious cow soys have arrived. I got chicken, Chris got the beef. Yes. So we're gonna try those. We had the same last time. I got the chicken, he got the beef. We tried both, both were delicious. Just different types of meat depending on what you feel like. So yeah, it's the same broth, same soup. So it just depends on what type of meat you wanna have. So it's served with this little dish of fresh lime. There's some sort of a pickled vegetable in here and some fresh red onions. So I think it's good to take little bits of that and just eat that with the cow soy as you're taking certain bites. Yeah, definitely put the lime on there because you need that little bit of citrus punch to it for sure. So 
just squeezing all the lime on there. So we're gonna mix this up. So one thing that's nice about the cow soy is you get your meat choice, you get a really, really rich curry coconut gravy, some cilantro, or some people like to call it coriander. Yeah. There's also some soft like egg noodles in there and you get a contrast of crispy noodles yeah. as well. So yeah, you've got all your pickled <laughs> I've doctored it up. your yes. onion in there. It's nice to try to get a bite of everything. So you get the soft noodles, you get the crispy noodles, you get your meat, and then yeah. you get some of the, the pickled veggies and the fresh red onion too. A balanced bite. Should we do it together? Sure. Let's all right. try. There we go. <laughs> Such a good rich so broth. good. Yeah. And again, not spicy, it's more on the sweet side. We already knew it was gonna be good. Mm -hmm. We just had to prove it again. Yeah. This is amazing. And we just had to show you guys. We're like, we know it's good, but it's so good. And the meat is so tender yeah. because it stews in that broth. Yeah, exactly. But the just the flavor with the curry and the coconut milk, you get such a fresh coconut flavor that comes through. Yeah, exactly. But that little hint of the curry spice, so you get kind of that sweet and spicy, but also savory balance. Yeah, and I haven't put the lime in mine yet. It is much better with the lime. I just wanted yeah. to have it without, but I'm gonna put that in now because it definitely needs that. And yeah. it needs that um, crunch of the red onion and that little bit of the flavor from the red onion as well. I find too, with the crispy noodles, they do a really good job of holding up to the broth. Yeah, exactly, yeah. So they've been sitting in, the, in my broth for a few minutes now and they still have crunch to them so that's kind of nice yeah it is i really really enjoy the flavor of the cilantro in yeah there as exactly well. and that's that, as that freshness yeah and a unique flavor that you know some people don't like but most people do it definitely needs that love in there, cilantro. Their herbs. but yeah it's uh if you've never had cow soy this is going to be one of your new oh, favorites yeah. once you have it you have to try it yeah exactly and especially try it here try it here traditional way. <laughs> yeah. so, we're gonna finish eating our cow soy, and uh, I think this is gonna be the last dishes we get because we're getting quite full. Once we're done, uh, we'll see you guys. All right, so now it's time to pay. You do get the little buttons, and there's all the pricing there if you are curious as to what this represents. As for the drinks, you do have to let them know what drinks you had. There's the ice cream sandwiches. If you got one of those, you'd have to let them know as well. So we'll give her the buttons. And then we had uh, two of the Chiang Mai beer. Huh. One chai, one chai, and two water. Two steam water. Yeah. How's that thing? Okay. The total bill is one thousand twenty baht for all that food. It's pretty good. And the drinks. And the drinks. Yeah, the beer is probably the more expensive thing. So. Cup on top. All right, so we're all finished up here, and yeah, what an amazing meal. So glad we came back for a second time and got to try some different dishes, and we will definitely be back for more, for yeah, sure. Yeah, exactly. So <laughs> close to home that we even told them, like, we're going to come back yeah. many, many times. You guys got to come check this place out. This, Like I said, this is a real gem of a northern Thai food restaurant that you can get right here in Bangkok, and you can come anytime. And definitely, it, no matter where you are in Bangkok, make a little bit of a trip out to Ekamai if you're even further away. It'll be worth the trip. You will absolutely love the food. You'll love the staff. They're just so grateful and appreciative and very hospitable and everything's just so good. They're very Thai, yeah. yeah. So mm -hmm. again, it's not far from the BTS station here in Akamai. So yeah, anywhere in the city, if you're close to BTS, jump on there or you just get to grab This here. would be like a five minute walk from the BTS. Yeah, so. exactly. So yeah, we'll leave the video off there. If you guys like it, please leave a thumbs up. If you haven't yet, hit the subscribe button, hit the little bell icon to get notified when we come on new videos and we'll see you in the next one. Saudi. Saudi.